Hi, I'm Richard Bogert of Bogert Aviation, and I'm going to talk to you today about the oil door mod for the Piper Seneca series airplanes. Years ago, uh, starting in the 1980s, I worked for a company or several companies that operated a number of Senecas, and uh, we developed this oil door mod because we were doing a lot of service work on those planes. Uh, typically, there's a lot of mess involved with changing the oil on a Seneca. I'll explain how that works in just a minute, but uh, I hate mess because mess is expensive. It's expensive for the shop and it's expensive for the aircraft owner. So let me show you what we do with the, with the oil door mod and how that eliminates all of that. Okay, I'm going to ask you to use your imaginations. Imagine that this piece of cardboard is the bottom cowling bottom of your engine nacelle cowling. There's just going to be a side cowling here. Uh, typically, this will be, if it was, was the left engine, this would be the inboard cowling. And the oil filter is going to set in the cowling about like this. There's very little room between the bottom of the filter and the bottom of the cowling. Now, to uh, change the oil, the mechanic would reach in from this side it's going to cut the safety wire, unscrew the filter, and then you think, well, we can just take it out. But he can't because the engine mount tubes are right here, the part, the tubes that support the engine. The only way to get that filter out is to tip it over and snake it out. And in the process, all of this dirty oil is being dumped into the bottom of the engine nacelle. Well, we can go along with we can come along with solvent, we can spray the cowling down, we can try to wash with soap and water, but over a period of time, that oil that's caught between the lap joints, places where the skins are, are riveted together, that solvent gets in there and it's gonna to continue to streak out over a long period of time. You'll have oil dripping off the flaps uh, behind the engine. So we wanna eliminate that. The way we do that, we'll just turn this around, we install, we install a reinforcement ring and a cover plate that goes in the bottom of the engine nacelle. Uh, a hole is cut in the bottom of the nacelle, the same size as the plate. This is going to be a flush fitting plate. The reinforcement plate rivets on around the hole to strengthen that area and give something for the plate to screw to. Then, when it comes time for an oil change, the, uh, the access cover is removed. Now when the oil filter is unscrewed, it'll just drop right out the bottom of the cowling. We never spill any oil, so there's nothing to clean up. You don't have to worry about the solvent getting into the magnetos or screwing up the spark plug leads or God forbid solvent get into your dry vacuum pump and cause your vacuum pump to fail. So it's gonna save you a lot of time. Uh, we went, my experience was it was taking me about an hour and a half to change oil on a Seneca. That was to do the oil changes and do the cleanup. And after we started putting the mods in, my time dropped to about a half an hour per aircraft to do a full oil and filter change. So there's some economy in doing this and certainly going to save a lot of mess. Thank you very much.